As you can see here at the show, there are a number of demonstrator vehicles that are running. Uh, we are preparing engines to run, but it is still early in the development phase. So there is much work left to be done. We're quite confident about the work we're doing, but, but they are not ready to run from a commercial perspective just yet. I think hydrogen engines have significant potential. As we've talked to fleet customers, one of the things they like about the hydrogen engines is the technology is very similar to the technologies they're using today. So their facilities, their technicians, their mechanics, their service people can work on them with relative ease. Right? We still need hydrogen and we still need the hydrogen refueling infrastructure. But for fleets, they view this as a much more simple and straightforward solution than going to battery electric or fuel cells. In the U.S., the, the government, with the Inflation Reduction Act, has launched a, a number of incentives for companies to both develop hydrogen, and we were fortunate enough to host President Biden at our facility in Minnesota, where we started making electrolyzers, which are equipment that makes hydrogen. At the same time, we announced a $1 billion investment in our engine facilities in the U.S. to build this new family of engines that we have announced that will run on diesel, natural gas, and also on hydrogen. And so the, the, the engines, the hydrogen engines, are considered zero carbon for the EPA greenhouse gas phase three proposal. And we are still working with California to get them to accept hydrogen engines for the alternative clean fleet requirements. In California, they have requirements on fleets that have to purchase a certain percentage of zero emission vehicles. And right now, California has not declared a hydrogen ICE vehicle as a zero emissions vehicle. And so we are continuing to work with them. Uh, this is a sign to me that the industry is developing very quickly. And so we're just trying to get caught up with all of the regulatory authorities around the world. Super pleased Europe led the way by declaring hydrogen ICE as a ZEV technology. The EPA has followed. Right? There are other, we need to work with the UK. The UK government, for instance, has not declared hydrogen ice as F technology, but we're talking with them. Right? And we're also talking with California because we think it is, it is a good option right, for the US fleets. It'll take a couple years for us to get it into commercial usage. Right? Uh, we have a plan to turn this truck into a, into a runner, as we call it, into a, a truck that runs. Uh, we are advancing our development significantly uh, in India, in the UK, in the US, in China, right? And so this, this technology is developing rapidly. If you look at how much progress we've made in the last couple of years, it's significant. And I think that will continue for the next couple of years. But we are, we are not five years or 10 years away. We are two years or three years or four years away.